through with my eighth grade boys. It was a tough, it was a tough pill to swallow. Uh, I couldn't imagine. Like it, you, you don't even realize what you have until you lose it. You know, you wake up every single day and you get to spend your time with amazing <laughs> kids. And then all of a sudden, just like that, you don't even get to realize it and, and you lose it. And Monday morning was very tough for me. Then we got to Tuesday <laughs> and Wednesday, and we had the best time ever. Um, I was not fortunate enough, as the eighth graders know, to go on my own senior trip. And so I can honestly say without a doubt, this senior trip would have been much better than the senior trip that I went on when I was a kid. For sure, there's no question. Um, everything from learning who the rabbi is, who is the rabbi? I am the rabbi. I am the rabbi. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Needless to say, we had a great time. Then, that moment that you don't anticipate coming until it comes. We get off the bus. We all just kind of go because it's really late and we're really tired. And it hits me again. I lost it again. I'm never going to see these kids ever again. And it becomes tough. It becomes tough when you, when you, you know, I don't know what life is like without seeing these amazing boys and girls. Every day for the last six years of my life, I've got to walk into this building and I've got the privilege and the amazing, amazing fortune to walk into this building and say, Hey, Shash! Good morning, coach! And um, so when you lose it, it's tough. And, Friday, and Thursday morning was again another tough day for me. To not get to see your faces, to look in the eighth grade boys' room and the lights are off, you guys are not there. It's tough. So, how do we get through life? Because if all we know is there's these high highs and these low lows, how does anybody get through? And I think the answer is, we as human beings are not programmed to get through. We thank God every day, I thank God every day, for something very special that he provides for each and every one of us, and it's built in through our tefillah that the rabbi so brilliantly crafted. And so all my middle school boys know my favorite hallelujah out of all of them is Shiru Adonai Shir Hadash. Because every single day we have this awesome, unique privilege to wake up and it's a brand new day. I challenge anybody in this room to attempt the following. Try to wake up exactly the same way that you woke up the day before. Try it. It's impossible. One day I'm waking up on the right side of the bed, the next day we're on the left. The next day I wake up sneezing, the next day it's a cough. It's impossible. And I think it was designed this way because we need to slow down time. Because life passes by too quickly and we are not programmed to recognize the amazingness of what we have each and every day. And so when we finally get to slow down time, and we recognize that each and every day is a special, unique day in and of itself, we do the following. We live life by values, as the rabbi mentioned. And we say to ourselves the following, is what I'm doing reflecting the person that I want to be? And if the answer is yes, if the action that you are about to commit ensures that you are respectful, ensures that you're empathetic, ensures that you're sensitive to life around you, that's a good action. And if the answer is no, chances are you should probably rethink what you're about to do. But again, we go through life through ups and downs. And when there's the high highs and the low lows, we don't really have time to think. So Shiru Ladunai Shir Hadash. Every single day is a brand new day. And here at Barkai, through the lens of sports, 
This is what the coaches worked on every single day with your children. Giving them the tools to not only appreciate what they were going through, but to give them the roadmap to take on what's next. And so to my eighth graders, both boys and girls. There were days where you made me want to rip my hair out. I'm not gonna lie. But it was completely overshadowed overwhelmingly with the number of days that you just made me want to cry. Where you come over to me and you say, Coach! Like the homeroom speech, this is it, right? This is it. <coughs> or you just come over and say, hey, Shash, what's doing? And you have no idea what you've provided for me. You've lightened up my days every single day for six years. And my hope for all of you sitting in this room is you take with you what it is that you've done every single day in this building you never, ever, ever forget that you come from Barkai, that you stay true to your identity, and no matter what life throws you away, you do your best to slow down time. You think about what it is that you're doing, appreciate what you have, because just like that, you lose it.